Hi, it's Randy from RE Cycle. We've got two Santa Cruz bikes here, uh, father and son team, uh, Santa Cruz Blur and Santa Cruz Superlight. They've both been converted to electric with the CYC Stealth Gen 3 motors, and they both have the CYC battery pack. Uh, this is the B52L uh, with the 50E cells. Uh, so those motors put out, you know, they're rated at 1500, but yeah, when the battery's fully charged, it, you'll often see uh, power up in the 1750 watt range if you have it all turned all the way up. And uh, the blur, we've we've done some modifications here. We've got uh, the controller mounted off the battery pack uh, and separated from the motor. The motor is sandwiched in to the front triangle. Uh, and and then the battery pack has been turned on its side. Uh, CYC has a picture of, of one on their site and we decided to try mounting that way. It gives us a little more clearance uh, on the suspension and uh, allows us to move the battery a little higher as a result. And the super light, the link for the rear end is right where the mount would go. And so we've built a mount that hangs off lower bottle clamp, uh, bottle clamp mount. And, and it just hangs the motor there so that it keeps it tucked away, but also uh, the mount, uh, the hanger doesn't, uh, doesn't interfere with the rear linkage. And both bikes have the DS-103. You can see the controls here. And the display. And you can see some of the wiring. Both with the thumb throttle. Same thing here. I'll come back around to the other side and show the other side of the motor as well. Yeah, so here is the other side of the bike's drive side. Uh, you can see a little closer on the motor again. See it's tucked up nice and tight. The battery on this one we mounted high. We wanted to mount it lower, but uh, really the amount of travel on the front end and the steepness of the the steering rake uh, really limited our options that way. The battery would have had to come down low enough. The motor would have had to have been lower and really wanted to maximize ground clearance on this one. And then uh, you can see on the blur, wiring's all tight, tucked up nice, nice and tidy. And you can see the power cords on these. The charger on the CYC battery is, is actually the supply line. So you need access to those so that they're easy to pop the charger back on. And we put new chains on them, KYC, tie nitrate. So uh, hope you like what you see. You know, as I mentioned, we're gonna try and share bikes more routinely. Um, give us a comment, uh, send us an email if you've got questions about your own builds. We're happy to answer any questions you have, help you figure out what you want to build. But also, if you want to have the bikes built, don't hesitate to reach out. That's what we like to do. I uh, hope you like what you see. Thanks again from RE Cycle. See you.